Hello, welcome to Adumbrate. In this video, we're going to be showing you a, a rectified transformer at 12 volts, also a non-rectified transformer, and we're going to be comparing it to two other DC sources, one being a uh, power supply and the other one just being is a battery, a car battery. In this video, we'll be demonstrating the advantage of using direct current for electrolysis over alternating current, which is known as AC power. So the difference between these two is that in direct current you have a positive and a negative. Your electro or your electricity is flowing directly in one direction. Um, whereas in alternating current it alters back and forth between the two. So the negative uh, lead of the electrodes in your electrolysis, the uh, copper or whatever you're using, will switch from being positive to negative at um, multiple times within a second. And because of this, the, um, the ions within the solution that you're electrolyzing uh, will move back and forth uh, because they'll be attracted alternatively, or they'll, their attractions will alternate between the two electrodes due to the alternating nature of the current, and so you'll get less of them uh, leaving the solution, which is why direct current, which does not alternate back and forth, is more effective because it's electrode... Um, charges stay the same, so the ions are not confused as to where they're going, they're not being tugged back and forth, they're only being tugged to one electrode. So they leave solution much easier, so the final product that you are trying to produce by electrolysis is much more easily separated. Alright, so this is our rectified transformer setup. Uh, we showed it to you in another video, but in case you haven't seen that, um, basically what we have here is a outdoor transformer that uh, goes to, I think it's 10 volts, is it? 12 volts. 12 volts, and it's at uh, 300 amps, so... 300 watts. 300 watts, yeah. sorry. <laughs> I had all my information wrong. Um, but it's been rectified with a full bridge rectifier, so um, the positive and the negative have been hooked up here, and the actual transformer itself, which uh, steps up in alternating current, has been attached here and here, so its current is split into positive and negative that we can then use in this salt water to make hydrogen. So that'll show you whether or not the uh, current has been rectified properly. And then we'll compare that to these other DC power sources that we have here. These, um, this power supply and this battery, um, so you can see which one's better. Or rather, if it's at least comparable. We're also going to use um, just this without being rectified. Yeah, so you can see the difference between AC and DC. Alright, so now I'm just going to plug this in over here. Here we are, live wire. You can see it's already electrolyzing inside the solution. So, right, you take a look at the negative electrode. There's our level of bubbles. Quite bubbly, I'd say. There's no real measurement in this experiment. We're just testing to see what does better. <laughs> so yeah, bubbles Visually. are definitely forming in there. All right, so now we've correct. Okay, yeah. All right, so now we've actually connected the electrodes directly to the transformer. So it's alternating current. There's no longer a positive and a negative. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna plug that in, and we're gonna check for bubbles. If there are the same amount of bubbles, then that shows there isn't a difference. But we know there is a difference, so. There shouldn't be any bubbles. Spoiler, we've already tried this out. <laughs> and, what a surprise, no bubbles forming. Yep, nothing happens. Because it's Well, there's a little bit of something happening, but yeah. not really much. That could be just the localized ions being released. But what's happening here is the ions in the solution are going back and forth rapidly. If you could see it on a microscopic level, you would see them being uh, rapidly moving back and forth. So both electrodes are switching from positive to negative so rapidly that no uh, significant amount of gas is being released. So now we're going to try the other direct current options so we can see that they're comparable to the transformer. Okay, so now we've got a 10 volt uh, direct current power supply here. Uh, so we've got the jumpers hooked up to it. Now we're just going to plug it in, uh, set the amperage and voltage up. So with the little knobs. Turn that up. Turn the current on first because you can't have voltage without current. Oh, sorry. I guess the voltage is already on. And the voltage is all the way up now. So you can see the bubble formation is similar to the other transformer. Um, so, yeah, 10 volts, 12 volts, they're very similar to each other. Um, I flip that off now. And then I will unplug these and we'll try the battery out. Alright, now I'm going to plug the battery in. Well, plug these into the battery. 
So negatives on there. Again, battery, it's DC. There's a negative and positive lead here. And on that goes. Now this battery itself is only, uh, what is it? I think it's only nine, nine volts, but it has a lot of amperage to it, so it's pretty powerful. And there you can see bubbles are forming less than the other two power supplies, probably because of the uh, maybe the amperage, voltage. the lower voltage or the lower amperage, or just maybe lower wattage total. Um, something is lower, but it's still forming bubbles, which is better than the AC did. So, yeah. All right. Unplug that. Never hold both jumpers at the same time. It's a bad idea. That's tips from Sam. Tips from Sam. Safety tips. Safety tips from Sam. If you need to go to the bathroom, don't do it. Ever? Ever. <laughs> Ever. Hey! 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 So what did we learn, Sam? Well, we learned that AC current is terrible for electrolysis. It's great for shocking things, though. Like people. And potatoes. We've it's, done that before. It's terrible. Watch our other videos. It's terrible for electrolysis because the ions get pulled in both directions. That's right. They're like, no. They don't know which way to go. They're but, like turning left and right. Nowhere. They're not going anywhere. But nope. with direct current, uh -huh. you get a positive <clears throat> and a negative, and so the ions know which way to go, so they separate more easily. But wait, there's more. Direct current also only costs nine ninety nine. Per direct. Oh. But yeah, anyways, we also learned that our <clears throat> transformer is about the same as our surplus sour, sour supply. Sour supply. And that the car battery was worse than both of them, but still pretty good. Yeah, and that <clears throat> AC is terrible. AC is terrible. Don't, don't, don't listen to, uh, what's his name, Tesla. Don't listen to Tesla. Tesla. Thomas Edison had it all right. Wasn't it in there? I don't know. I can't remember. <laughs>